toasty toasty already. It is hotter than a firecracker on 4th of July. Look at, the, look at them old fishing shirts showing that baby bump. My other fishing shirt didn't even fit over the bump. <laughs> this Getting is the next, next size up. It's date time, y'all. I told her she wanted to do this. She wanted to go see the fireworks. Uh, it's not 4th of July yet. That's fa fastly approaching. It's going to be here soon. She wanted to see the fireworks. They do fireworks out here on the lake. And uh, tonight we got a little date night. So you've prepared a little food action for us, yeah, I believe. Yeah, i prepared a little picnic for us. Yes! Well, we're really just coming out here to enjoy some time together. Because I was gone a whole week for Canada, and then I'm gonna be gone all week next week. So we gotta spend some quality time. I gotta spend some time with my girls. Yes, you do. It's so, a very rare occasion that we're on the lake when everybody else is, but we'll give it a go. And this is a hair above your temperature level. It is. You know, we would have got out here earlier, but let me tell you guys something. Pregnant ladies. They get overheated. They get overheated quick. <laughs> so we've learned this. If you guys have been watching the vlogs, you've probably seen some of the stuff we're doing around the house and stuff, housework. It gets hot out there. A lot of times I'm out there just, just doing it. Just <laughs> she points, I do things. We'll see how long I can stand it. I might even jump in. So my I got my cooler. My cooler's full of ice. I might be rubbing some ice on my belly. <laughs> God, you're an ice fiend. I am right and now. Let us know in the comments. Are, are any of you fishing freaks, do you have wives? Love ice. Chew on ice? Is, it a, is that a thing? Because she loves ice. It's like a, it's an addiction. She's addicted to ice. The only thing I'm craving is like water. And we need ice. to get ice up in here. She's ice. addicted to ice. This is my first time getting back in the saddle after Canada. I was in a dinghy for so long. This feels weird being in a big bass boat. Look at that shad ball. Shad ball and then Ooh. pregnancy balls. Did you see my uh, parking job? Did you get, do a good job parking? One and done, babe. Oh. One and done. Nicely done, honey. Ooh. We got like two hours until that fireworks show. So we got some fishing we can do. <laughs> I used Good news to do. for you. Uh, you don't want to fish? No, I do actually. I want to know, since we just got a storm a couple days ago, what does that do to like the eating habits, eating patterns, eating, eating habits. behaviors yeah, of I fish? Like, I like habits. Cooler water always sinks. So if there's cooler, cooler water coming in and then it runs through the water column and then that, that water is, is cooler than the bottom, it'll make it kind of flip over. It just depends on the water temperature of the rain. It can kind of make things flip upside down, mix, you call it mixing, lake mixing. When fish don't have the right oxygen levels, they're not gonna eat anyway. It's just like if you're sitting in a in your house and then all of a sudden the AC cuts off and you're sitting there and it's like 105 degrees inside, you're gonna be kind of pissed off. That's one thing. The other thing, if it's not too heavy, uh, nutrient, new nutrients comes into the lake oxygen will actually enter the water in shallow areas so it's kind of a good idea to look shallow after a rain but i know one thing it is 102 degrees dead calm i know you're probably hot we might need to turn on the ac and get the old yamaha popping i agree with that you like that yeah because i'm sweating through my shorts my pants <laughs> right now my ankles are sweating I know. when you have ankle sweat <laughs> you know it's hot what kind of boat is that it's like a pirate ship Jolly Roger flag is the skull and crossbones flag you see on all the pirate ships and everything. That actually stems from my family lineage. That's right. Did you know that's dead? Um, I think I remember you told me that at one point. So that's that right. means I am now married into the family of pirates. Family of pirates. John Calico Jack Rackham, which was a uh, early origin of the Rackley name. Uh, his first mate developed the flag, but it was on his ship. He was eventually hanged in the Caribbean. He was a Caribbean pirate. He did bad things. He pirated things. Here I am, many years later. <laughs> Trying to be a good man. On a boat. Not pirating things, but... Ironic. I still, I love the water for some reason. It's like, I can't get away from the water. It's in your it's blood. Like it is in my blood. So, anyway, a little, little uh, Googling action look that up check that out but jolly roger flag there he goes runs deep in the lfg fam oh it's g with the first fish Woo. i was like babe you want to have dinner and she was like no i want to catch a fish <laughs> i want to catch a fish i have to catch a fish before i eat dinner <laughs> nice try babe can you help me out here i can help you out all right you can just rest it on your belly and uh, then we'll unhook it sound good <laughs> just ran into some fishing freaks oh uh, she's showing off her catch see what you got let's do an unboxing secure your lure <laughs> never seen you get after it so much in such a 
short time span, you're like, I gotta catch me a fish. And I did. Steffi's dinner meals. Well, we've got homemade chicken salad on a brioche burger bun. What? What? Brioche, what does that mean? I don't really know what it means. It's just a soft, uh, do you, Just a buttery. burger. Oh, just say a burger then, for all us okay. laymans. Watermelon, got some pickles for the pregnant lady. Pregnant and ladies love pickles for some reason. Why do you think that is? I don't know, I think it's because it's salty. And some of these chips from- Oh yeah, <laughs> that's one of, that's one that one of y'all sit in from uh, Pennsylvania. I think it was his name was Justin. Yep, his name those was Justin. Are, those are good. That's a nice treat. Beautiful sunset, beautiful lady. Oh, you're so sweet. Just... Pregnant ladies don't have the greatest balance. Ah, noticed. Thank you. I swear I want to eat. All right, can you do me up a plate? I feel like it's good to bring a pregnant lady aboard because there's always going to be food. Behind. Usually in this boat there's some food as well, but it's probably not the stuff you want to eat. It's like jerky it's like and... beef jerky and pistachios. Yeah, maybe some leftover chicken nuggets from Chick-fil-A or something. The water temperature is almost 90 degrees here. Just kind of enjoying some time with OSG before, before I head back north. I'm going back to Minnesota, actually. Minnesota. This is what summer is all about right here. This might as well be a country song. <laughs> Sandals flopped off, watermelon and pickles with some sweet potato fries, and mm -mm. oh, is she eating her watermelon pie? I didn't bring bananas this time. Good. That's why you caught a fish. You didn't bring a nanner. Pregnant ladies eating healthy food. There's some fishing freaks right there. They caught a four-pounder earlier, they said. What's up? Hey, boys. We are on E, by the way, in our gas tank. Hopefully that works out. Winston. He used, to, he used to smell chicken salad. He would come in there Winston. and he would just sit down and wait for a little scrap. He wasn't a scrapper really. He wasn't. But, but he chicken. loved chicken. Chicken was his jam. He's literally right next to a popper. Let's move that away. We got a little bit left. I don't think I've ever fished around fireworks. Like under, well, there was a the time where people shot him at us, but um, I don't think I've ever fished like during a fireworks show or anything. It's kind of cool. It's kind of like water world out here right now. Hang on, hang on. It really is water world out here, jeez. Didn't the fireworks scare the fish? I bet they hear them. They I bet they hear these them. daggum airplanes. <laughs> they probably feel those because their lateral lines are very sensitive. They are meant for feeling vibrations in the water so they can, they can feel a fish move. Yeah. What's that over there? It's like a spidey sense. And they can, they can hunt in the dark with that. Good question. I'm just full you, of great questions. You're full of good questions, questions today. <laughs> She's intrigued and catching one. Going into night mode on the electronics. You know what song that's from? Batman. No. Knight Rider. It's been a while since I've been on the boat at night with you. Last summer? It's rare you're on the boat with me anyways. Well, I don't, don't always get invited. Say that, but you don't want to be there 90% of the time unless it's great weather. <laughs> when it's 105 and not when it's 32 degrees. So there's a very small window. Isn't technology amazing? I mean, you're on your phone out in the middle of a lake right now. <laughs> I'm sitting here looking at these electronic units. We got lights in the boat and then there's a little R2D2 mechanism up here that's taking care of us while we can just sit here and, and watch the works. Let me tell you a story. <laughs> it's not very funny, is it? Do you have a scary fish story? Um, I've been to a lot of scary places fishing, yeah. I want to know, have you ever had like a near-death experience while fishing? Yes. Lightning strike, Lake Fork, uh, 2010. I almost got popped. The, my whole body was tingling. My rod was vibrating. I, my line was floating in the air, and I thought I was about to die. Uh, I've also been shot at. Uh, I've been, been threatened to be shot. Um, there's all kinds of adventures out on the water, honey. I didn't know you were threatened to be shot. Yep, sure did. I was actually at this very lake one time, fishing at night. It was past midnight, and there was someone crawling on the dam and throwing rocks down the dam. <laughs> In the middle of the night. He was crawling? Crawling, like creepy crawling. Like no. a weird possessed man out no, in the, I think, yeah, out in the dark. Wrong with that. There was something for sure wrong with him. <laughs> I mean, who sits around in the dark and throws rocks at boats? Oh. Babe, we got one minute left and this party's gonna kick off. Well, Are you I'm ready? I am. Is this a cool date? It is a cool date. 
Would you recommend me to other women? If Heck no. <laughs> <laughs> so I would recommend this date. <laughs> you just got to pack your own dinner, though. Oh, here we go. Here we go. First one. First one. It's happening. Here we go. Oh, yeah. This is freaking, this is perfect. Weird. Oh my gosh. The only thing that can make this even better is if we were to catch a bass. If we caught a bass, yeah. like under the fireworks. Yeah. You wanna try? Is this the finale? It's going off. No, that's not it. It's still going. It's awesome because you can see the reflection off the water too. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh, that boat almost got hit. That's crazy. I think this is it. Oh, look at that. Hey, we were close too. That is awesome. Woo. All right, awesome date night. Choo -hoo. Choo -hoo. You're missing the best part. I'm sorry. Sorry, I missed. The, I missed the finale. <laughs> Woo! USA! Oh, man. Listen to the boaters. The water world out here, man. It's crazy. This is like a whole other culture we've been missing out on. I love it. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm this at is, home. <laughs> this, is serious, this is lake life. This is lake life for sure, to a T. Well, I'm sure all the fish are probably in their holes now. <laughs> hiding after that. Probably scared Helicopters are coming over now. The part that scares me is that everyone is dispersing now. I'm sure some people stay out here and kind of party a little bit. The game warden's definitely out here because they don't, they, you don't want everyone to just blast off like a tournament takeoff. <laughs> Can I have some of that, please? Perfect for pregnant ladies and I guess uh, their husbands too. Uh, boaters in general. Back to the uh, treehouse we go? Yeah, I want to try one spot to catch a bass and okay. then it's back to the treehouse. Okay, we made it to our little fishing spot here. I've actually had three bites, but they're just dropping my, my lure for some reason. Fishing one of the baits that uh, we've been working on that's gonna come out this summer. And I've actually got shoe marks all over this thing. Like by the time I feel them, it's already too late. They've dropped it. I've got it on a uh, little half ounce shaky head. I know I'm gonna get one right here. I just gotta detect the bite and then set the hook the right back. I got him. Feels like a good fish. Woo! Oh yeah, this is a good fish. This is my fourth bite right here. Oh god, it just got me all wet. Well, still got, got him? Mine. I've still got my Canadian line on here. Check that all out. Alright. He absolutely crushed it and he sat there with it. Can you see that? Here, I'll have to back that. up a little bit. I like right. what you're doing there, putting the flashlight on the hip. There we go. Oh, look at that. Nice fish right there. That was like your third cast. Yeah, well they were sitting here, I knew it, and I had I had those bites with it. And uh, anyway, I'll have to I'll have to share more about that that worm with you guys in the light. It's a bait that's coming out soon, we've been working on. Great night bait too, fishing in the summertime, big thump. So been out here with Stephanie, got to see the beautiful fireworks, had a nice dinner that she prepared, and just catching had bass. to end this I way. I had to, babe. I had to. You know how I got to do it. So we'll we'll end it on a sniff. God, that is extra sweet right there. <laughs> and we'll let that fish go. It's cool. That's a fun date night. One more jump. Nope, oh, just went away. Awesome. These are going to be available soon. What I'm doing here for the night version of this. This is normally this is a 10 inch worm. Right here, this is the Mondo worm, and it's got a really nice thumping tail on it. But I take that first quarter of the worm off, <laughs> you'll taste it. <laughs> 
got good stuff on it. Screw lock that in. This is a football shaky head, half ounce. Instead of doing a Texas rig, this will help the tail of this bait stand up. It has a lot of thump in it, so that's good for night fishing. That tail puts out a lot of thump. Big worms are known for night fishing. And then I'll just Texpose that, and I can fish that right in the rocks. That's a dandy little unit right there. You gotta let him take it. So that last one, he thumped it and I let him eat it and he hung on to it really good. It takes them a little bit to get that longer worm in their mouth. That turns out, that's like an eight inch worm now, but puts out a lot of thump and it's tasty for night fishing. Just use a dark color like this. Silver bullets going up for the night. Watch out for danger noodles. Oh, All right, we gotta plug the boat in. It's important. It's past OSG's bedtime. Mm -hmm. and my daughters, my, <laughs> my daughters, my daughter Just and, and mama need their rest. So we're gonna shut it down right here. Awesome date though, fun, right? Fun. And if any of y'all live around the Grapevine area, that is, that's just a deal they do. I don't know who pays for it. It's probably part of our tax dollars. I, I don't know. But it's pretty cool to go watch. Just a fun date though, getting to watch the fireworks with Steph and then getting to sniff on at the end of the day. So thanks for tuning in guys and let me know, do any of y'all do night fishing? Are any of you interested in night fishing? It's not something I video a whole lot. I've done a lot of it in the past. It's fun. It's fun to do with friends and stuff uh, in the summer when it's really hot. But let me know in the comments. And if you want to go check out our other channel, Lake Life, just us around here, mainly OSG's perspective on life, go subscribe. It'll be down in the description. And thank you guys once again. Hope you're having a blessed day wherever you are. And I'll see you guys on the next one.